Understanding Stomachs in a Twist, Navigating English Idioms. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of English idioms, focusing on the phrase, stomachs in a twist. Idioms like these can add color and depth to our conversations, but they can also be a bit confusing for English language learners. Let's unravel the mystery together and make your journey into English idioms an enjoyable one. When someone says their stomach's in a twist, they're not talking about physical exercise or some strange contortion. Instead, this idiom expresses a feeling of nervousness or anxiety. It's as if the butterflies in your stomach are tying themselves into knots. This phrase can be used in various situations, from feeling anxious about an upcoming test to being nervous about speaking in public. It vividly captures the physical sensation often associated with anxiety. The origin of stomachs in a twist and similar idioms is a bit murky, but they all draw on the physical sensations we experience during moments of nervousness or stress, where our stomachs feel tight or uncomfortable. This expression is used in casual and informal settings, making it perfect for everyday conversations. Understanding when and how to use idioms like this can help you sound more like a native speaker and enrich your English communication skills. To help you grasp how to use stomachs in a twist in real life situations, here are a few examples. Before the job interview, my stomach was in a twist, but it turned out to be much easier than I expected. Thinking about the upcoming finals has my stomach in a twist. Whenever I have to speak in front of a large audience, my stomach gets in a twist. These examples show how you can use the phrase to express feelings of anxiety or nervousness in various scenarios. Understanding idioms like stomachs in a twist can not only help you become more fluent in English but also allow you to express your emotions in a more nuanced and colorful way. We hope this video has untangled the meaning and use of this idiom for you. Keep practicing and don't let your stomach get in a twist about learning English idioms. See you in the next video.